Hey everybody, Sean Gavin with Reach Higher Ground in Tucker. I wanted to uh, take a few minutes and just maybe talk to you guys about RO membrane technology. <clears throat> so there's a lot of different membranes on the market today and we get a lot of questions about different price points. So there's a few factors that drive price points of membranes. Um, the main two that we'll talk about today are uh, where they're manufactured and the technology inside them. So all membranes are not created equal in terms of how they perform and the technology that's in them sort of dictates how well they perform. So the newer the technology, uh, the more it's going to cost. And so there are um, membranes on the market today that are only made by certain manufacturers because they have exclusives on the technology inside that membrane. So that's an expensive product, as you can imagine. Um, other membranes that are made with uh, materials that have been around a long time and are commonly available to everyone are far more inexpensive because it's been much more, um, you know, kind of worked out in terms of everyone having it and now everyone's competing on the price, right? So that's one piece, the technology. The other piece is obviously where they're manufactured. If you make something in the United States, it tends to be a lot more expensive than if you make it offshore, for example. So that's the other factor that drives down the price. The newest technologies that are available in membrane, uh, in the membrane technology field, if you will, uh, are not available offshore though. So you have two factors built into the most expensive membranes on the market today. One, the technology is only available to companies that are US based and those companies are making the membranes in the US. So that said, that's a bit why you see kind of the variance in, in terms of pricing. We're gonna talk about a couple different membranes today uh, on this video and uh, they hit various price points. So uh, one of the best membrane manufacturers in the United States is a company called Axion. Uh, Axion has been around a long time. Prior to Axion branding, they were RO Ultra Tech. Uh, I go back uh, 15 plus years with uh, my relationship with uh, RO Ultra Tech and Axion. And uh, so as a result, we've done a lot of business together. This is a membrane um, that Axion has produced for them in China. So it says right on it, made in China. This is a fiberglass uh, exterior on this membrane. You can see inside, maybe not on this video, but if you ever look at your own membranes, how there's a tube basically on the end here, and then they take uh, sheets of membrane film and they wrap it around this tube and then as they wrap it it gets bigger and bigger and bigger in terms of this diameter this way and that's how you end up with this outside diameter now those different technologies i was touching on that's the different sheets so the higher the uh the better the technology in terms of uh this uh, membrane sheets if you will that are that are used for internally here uh, the lower the amount of pressure that you need to be able to produce water. So this is where the technology piece comes in. This membrane here uh, works best at 100 PSI. So when you put water into this membrane, if you pressurize that water flow to 100 PSI, you're going to get the best flow out of this membrane. This is a 100 PSI rated membrane. So let's say it's a gallon a minute. It's around that at 100 PSI, okay? So at 100 PSI, you get a gallon per minute out of this membrane. This is a inexpensive membrane in a 40 inch length compared to some of the other membranes that are on the market today. This membrane is what is in our rival carts. So our rival cart is um, a lot less expensive than every other cart we make. And that is part of the reason why the membrane inside uh, is not quite as good as some of the other ones on the market today. That said, it will still outperform just about every cart out there. And that feedback can be found in the reviews on our website where people buy a rival and they say, I bought this based on the price point. I was thinking this was going to happen, but we still got more flow out of the competing product. Part of that is the membrane. Also part of that is design. You know, when you look at our systems, uh, you can tell that we're using components and uh, hoses and tubings of a diameter that are going to allow us to have maximum output. We've always been a water system company. 
poles has always been secondary into the last year or so for us in terms of our focus. So our water systems uh, have always been uh, top notch. This is another 40 inch membrane. So again, these are four, they call it a four by 40. So this diameter is four inches ish, right? Nominal. And then this is a 40 inch, they call it length. This is actually probably measures somewhere around 39 inches and four point something inches. So it's not exact. It's kind of like a two by four anymore, right? So these are privately labeled for us. These are made in the United States. This is made by hand, not a machine. And it is what they call uh, tape wound. So this is, this white material here is just like the black in that it's a tape. Somebody wound this tape around that element sheet, okay? So again, you've got your permeate tube is what this is called, goes end to end, both ends. And you've got your technology wrapped around it on the inside, your membrane sheets. This membrane here is uh, rated to produce the same amount of water as this membrane, which will produce that gallon or minute-ish at 100 PSI. This one will do it at 60 PSI, if not less, depending on the situation. So if I put this membrane into uh, the rival cart, for instance, I pull this cheaper membrane out, this one cost about double from a technology standpoint, from labor, everything else made in the US, right? When I stick this into the rival cart, I get twice the water out of the cart that I would with this in there, just by making that, that simple change, RO membrane technology, right? So again, 60 PSI or less, depending on the situation, 100. The next best membrane is made by Axion. It's called an HF5. The HF5 is a membrane a lot of our competitors use, and it's a really, really good membrane. Very good. We used it for a very long time. That membrane is rated to operate at 80 PSI. So 100, an 80, and a 60. So obviously, the better the technology, the lower the operating pressure you're going to need, and the more water you're going to put on the glass as a result, which means you clean faster, you clean higher up, less chances of needing a pump, all these, all these variables. But this is an exclusive product to one manufacturer and to us in the window cleaning industry. So we're the only place you can get a membrane that operates at that low of a pressure with that volume. So this is in all of our S4s, for example. So our four-stage water cart that has the two pre-filters and then the 40-inch RO and the DI, this is in there. You'll also find this in our 4060. So the 4060 is basically a unit we designed to make more water than any other system on the market today. This is without a pump, okay? So instead of it being a four by 40, it's four by 30, so it's slightly shorter, but we utilize two. And if you do the math, if you take this 40 inch membrane that operates at 60 PSI and you chop it down to 30, it actually performs around the same as this in terms of gallons per minute because of how much more flow you get out of it. So a 30 inch version of this is comparable to this, but when you take two 30s, now you're getting a lot of water out of a water system without a pump. So that's why we call it the 4060, the 4060, two 30s. So it's in there. You can find the 20 inch version of this in anything we do in a compact system. So the wall mounts that we do, we have two 20 inch versions of this. We have uh, the Tucker compact system. It's kind of replaced the easy pure over the years. Uh, that unit has two 20 inch versions of this 60 PSI membrane. And so I wanted to just kind of take a few minutes and explain that to you because a lot of people just kind of price shop membranes, which I totally understand if you don't get how they work. I mean, there are membranes that will not produce any water if you don't put 225 PSI on them. So we'll get a call from a customer every once in a while and they'll call them and they'll say, I'm not getting any water out of this system and we'll troubleshoot it with them and we'll say, well, what membrane's in there? They'll send us a link to Amazon, we'll check it out and we'll say, well, without a pump that's producing 225 PSI, you're gonna get nothing out of there. These are not line pressure RO membranes, right? So it's important to keep that in mind when you're shopping. Uh, all those factors. You can find these membranes all on our website at tuckerusa.com, always in stock. Currently, we probably have somewhere around four to 500 membranes in stock across all those sizes and specs. So we're happy to help you out. You can also find them at any of our distributors around the United States and globally. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at 303-663-1779. And I hope you all have a great day. Thank you very much.